Alright, listen up guys. Tonight I got that Hall of Fame championship match, so I'm not going to be able to accompany you guys to the ring tonight. Wait a minute, huh? Aren't you suffering from bulging discs in your back due to your match with FO at Legacy? I definitely am, and that's why I'm undergoing this preparation right here, because if I want to have a serious shot at winning this thing, I need to do everything possible. It's me and five other Hall of Famers out there, and I am not taking this match lightly. Of course, if I win the WAW Championship tonight, I'm going to be putting a lot more pressure on the two of you to win the WAW Team Championship so that we can be the first dynasty in WAW history. So do you have any advice for us tonight? Well, for you, it's to stay the hell away from Riley. Whether you like it or not, she's interviewing to be Paul and Sage's new manager. But hey, she's probably going to end up being just as useless to them as she was to the two of you. And don't get me wrong, she probably polishes a mean helmet, but otherwise, she's pretty useless. But I don't wear a helmet. Oh, you're getting tenser. Tenser. <sighs> you? You're about as stubborn as your brother, so I guess me telling you to stay away from the Jersey Devil isn't going to do a lick of good. Or did uh, that steel chair to the side of your head smarten you up a little bit? Well, I'm not sure about that, but I just want to know one thing. When do I get Jersey one-on-one? -on -one? You'll get the Jersey Devil one-on-one -on -one when you're ready. And you'll be ready when I say you're goddamn ready. Oh, every minute you're gaining new knots, no new knots. Relax, relax. All right, guys. Why don't you just head out of here? Don't do anything to ruin my night. We won't. <laughs> wow. You've got some amazing hands. And since those hands are so good, how much for a happy ending? <laughs> well, free if you ask nicely. Go! Welcome back to Aftermath, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for some sudden death action coming off some interesting tournament events backstage where Sin was getting ready for his title match with all the other Hall of Famers tonight and he thought he was being rubbed down by the usual masseuse, but uh, she's not here tonight. So we got freaking play, uh, freaking Flax as a replacement and I don't think Sin was any too happy about it. But speaking of happy, this sudden death is going to contain Paul Clement, Mr. Happy, and Katie Newby. Paul Clement making his way out to the ring first. He has been a part of the team currently interviewing Riley Coyote to be their new manager. Tonight, I understand at some point in the evening, we're going to see the job interview portion for Paul Clement. We saw a good housekeeping too last week, but Riley slipped stage some laxatives. Let's wait the arrival of our next entry. And here comes a man who's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble with Sid for not being able to stay away from his ex-girlfriend, Riley. It's Mr. Happy. He's on direct orders to stay away from Riley tonight. She did not accompany Paul Clement to the ring, that, so that should make things a little easier for Mr. Happy. But this guy is still seeking out his first win in WAW. Here comes our final participant in this sudden death match. It is the female phenomenon, Katie Tooby, one half of the number one contenders for the WAW Team Championship. Her and Kevin will challenge the gold at Doomsday against the team champions in a match of their choosing. FMJ, the current champion, they still have time to lose the gold, but tentatively, we're going to see total chaos and full metal jacket at Doomsday. But for right now, we're going to see some sudden death if Paul wants to uh, get up from his nap. If he doesn't, maybe it'll be one-on-one. -on -one. Red guy kicking Paul like he's some homeless hobo. And this one's underway. Katie Doobie and Mr. Happy going right after Paul Clement to start things off here in this uh, sudden death match. Double DDT. Paul Clement gets spiked right on his head by Katie and Mr. Happy. 
Katie with stomps to the stomach. What's she going to go for here? The back handspring splash. We're going to cover. And Mr. Happy shoves Katie off. Smart move there. It is sudden death rules. There's no partnership in sudden death. They may work together briefly. But Mr. Happy wants that first victory. And he'll, uh, he'll shove a girl if he has to to uh, get that win. What do we got here? Oh, what a double team effort there. Looked like we were going to see a Russian leg sweep. Then we got a cutter. Good double teamwork there by Katie and Mr. Happy. Happy goes for a boot to the stomach. She tries as well. She gets caught with happy days. Mr. Happy's taken out one of his opponents. Oh, Clement ducks it. Mr. Happy hits the floor. Mr. Happy goes through the ropes and to the floor. And wait a second. Here comes Riley. What is she doing? Is she consoling Mr. Happy? What is she doing? More importantly, what is he doing? He's under orders from Sin to stay away from Riley, and it looks like he's abandoning his match. Paul Clement ducks under a clothesline, tries for a kick, tries for a spin around. Katie with a roll up. We get a cover, we get two. Oh, we almost had three. So I guess now this is a one-on-one -on -one contest with Paul Clement and Katie Doobie going one-on-one -on -one here. Mr. Happy has been let out of here by the potential manager of Paul Clement and Sage Zarello, Riley Coyote. I don't know if her intentions are good or bad in that one. Paul Clement comes charging in. Nobody home on the spinning heel kick. Katie kicks him right in the leg and then in the ass. Kicking the ass right in the ass. Katie's got her by the neck. Going up. Pop, and he pop, pop, pop. Cherry popper popped his cherry. It's a mess everywhere. We're going to cover. We need a count. We did three. Man, it's a bit too long since so I've seen a cherry popper. Woo! I love the cherry popper. Great move. Katie Doobie walks out of here with the victory here tonight. Mr. Happy distracted by Riley. He became a non-factor in this contest. And one-on-one, -on -one, Paul Clement could not handle the female phenomenon. So now, he could tell people he has A, lost to a leg drop twice, and B, he just lost to a girl. And no ordinary girl, probably the best female to ever step foot into a WWE ring. And Paul Clement does not know where the hell he is. He's falling all over the place. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see Sergeant Charles Hatchet go one-on-one -on -one with WNW's resident stoner, Smokey.